just recently, I、um, when David was in Camas, I called David, and I said I just read this quote that sounded very interesting to me. It said, "Time is a state of mind that will cease to exist when all humanity become happy." And I thought, well, never thought time as a state of mind. You know, you. We think about it linear way, and we talk about collapsing time as if it is something real to be collapsed. History, future needs to be collapsed, but it is a way of thinking. Really, a time is a way of thinking, and when we become happy, that thinking ceases to exist. So, I think there is also a question around what is the most Effective practice that can achieve or help us achieve that goal of having that way of thinking truly, truly dissolve and truly cease to be attractive to us. That that way of thinking in guilt, in looking at the past, organizing the present, planning the future, and what is right, what is wrong in behavior. That way of thinking is gigantic, encompasses everything. But how to collapse that way of thinking? The fastest way is another way of thinking that you have to <laughs> is an opposite way of thinking that you have to incorporate. And this other way of thinking is the guidance. So this is what I want to, you know, share my my personal experience. Why this is so important, you know, in the end, it's not about the form. Did I get the guidance right yesterday or not? Did I get it right now, or am I going to fulfill the guidance tomorrow in in the life of form? As if if I miss the guidance, I'm gonna be in trouble. You know, that. That is the initial phase, but eventually, this is what I want to tell you: how important it is. It's not really in whether the form is right or wrong. It's a habit of thinking, and that habit is gonna transcend the time and the way of thinking as you you know it. So I guess. In my own experience,、uh, I mean, this is eventually the understanding that comes along the way. But at the very beginning, it was very difficult、uh, concept for me to understand by my intellectual mind. So I remember I had a lot of talk with Jason when I first got here. It's like, why do I have to follow guidance? Why? What? What does that? Where does that lead to? Like, what then? Then what? Like. Give me the result that I want to hear, and he said. I remember he said. After I've asked many, many times, what then? What then? He said, then you know you are the spirit. I thought, oh, that's okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. If if all the diversion, different pathway only exists at the beginning. You think the guidance is external to you. There's something else for you to follow. But eventually, if the realization is gonna dawn onto my mind to know, okay, I am the guidance. Then okay, I can accept that.